It's good that they're finally taking down this old, dead, creepy old tree. Yeah, it was gonna fall down any day now. Not enough! It barely moved! And you know what's even better? With the dead tree gone, this sapling will be able to grow and thrive. Yep, just another example of God making all things new, even in the face of death. Well, our work here is done, and I think we learned a valuable lesson today. <sighs> What's the matter, Ruby? You don't think God makes all things new? Yeah, I know God does, Gabe. It's just in the slowest, least efficient way possible, that's all. Um, is there a rush? See, this tree is a great example. The dead tree comes down and then a new tree grows in its place, but it has to grow and grow and grow and grow. <coughs> Why doesn't God just make the tree fully grown right away? Seems like kind of a waste of time. A waste of time? Well, I don't think it's a waste of- Look, Gabe. I get that God is all about making things new, but at this rate, it's gonna take forever. Well, the world is pretty big. You know who could make the world new quicker? My maid and butler. You have a maid and a butler? Of course, the gardener can't do everything, and they are the best. Seriously, Gabe, they work wonders. A room can be so messy one minute. Bye, maid, bye, butler. You're great. By the time I get back, they've made it completely new. Eee! Ruby, you're just describing cleaning and straightening up. I really don't know what either of those things are, but go on. God making a new heaven and a new earth isn't the same as cleaning up the old one. God doesn't wave a magic wand to make things new. This dead tree isn't going to be replaced by the exact same tree. A new tree will grow. Or maybe some shrubs or a, a river might spring up. A river? That would be super inconvenient. My point is, God will make a new heaven and new earth because God is making all things new. It may not be on a schedule we can understand, but we know it's happening. Well, brand new things are pretty cool. Okay, I'll give God a pass on this one. God's craftsmanship is pretty great after all. But this? I cannot be patient about. I'm gonna go get my maid and butler. Oh, hold on a second. Sure. I need to ask you something. Something kind of embarrassing. This isn't easy for me to admit. What is it? I... I don't understand the Trinity. You mean the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Yes, people keep saying that, but I don't understand. How can three things be one thing, but actually be three things? Well, my mom explained it to me with a clover, and it made perfect sense. A clover? See, the clover has three petals. Each petal is a clover petal. And the whole thing together is a clover. Understand? But if I pick one of the petals off, it's still a clover. <laughs> exactly. You get it perfectly, Gabe. Bye. No, wait. I, I'm sorry if what I said made you think I get it because I do not get it. What about four-leaf clovers? Hi, Gabe. Ah. Bert, you startled me. My mom explained that the Holy Trinity is like an egg, and it made perfect sense. An egg? Yeah. God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, just like an egg is the shell, the, uh, the white stuff, and the yolk. Understand? But aren't those just different parts of the egg? I mean... See? You get it. No, wait. Which, which part is which? Is the Father the yolk? Is the Holy Spirit... <sighs> Having trouble comprehending the Trinity, huh? Oh, hi, Leo. I too had trouble with it at first, until my mom put it in the context of dual wave particle theory. Dual wave platypus theory? No, no, no. The theory that fundamental particles exist simultaneously as a wave and as a point. 
Understand? How could anyone understand anything you just said? Okay, think of the tiniest little... Ah! Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> Lord, I'm not sure who I'm speaking with, the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit, but... God's all three of those. <gasps> oh, Monty. Wait, you think God's all three at the same time? Yeppers, God is those three distinct, separate, same things. And that doesn't sound strange to you. Uh, w was God supposed to be normal? I guess not. <sighs> oh, good. You had me worried. So God is one, and God is three. And God is three and one. And one and three, and three and one. Nope. And one Still and don't three, get it. And three, but also I one. wonder and also three, and three and where he got that ice cream. <laughs> Hey, the community outreach assignments are posted for this weekend. Sweet! Who'd we all get paired with? It looks like Mimi is helping Victor's great-aunt Marjorie with her scrapbook collection. That sounds like a real easy job. You have so many old pictures from when you were a kid, Miss Great-Aunt Marjorie. <gasps> and you own ponies! What were their names? No, wait, let me guess. Uh, Applesauce? Three Socks? Lady Gallops a lot? And it looks like Ruby is helping Mr. Stanescu with... Yard work. That guy can be pretty grumpy. I wonder how Ruby will manage. Auz mikuta americanka. Toate aceste frunze trebuie să fie strânse și puse în sac. Hai să începem să... Whatever. I'll fix the lawn. You just stay out of my way. And I'm helping the church organist with... upgrading the church pipe organ. Oh, now that is interesting. And it looks like I'm helping... Oh, no. Janitor Jerry? But he and I are not exactly friends. You did destroy his tool shed. That was an accident. And now he wants me to help clean the entire church. Oh, man. Well, I'm sure you two will have a productive weekend. Yeah, right. It's probably going to be miserable. He probably just wants me to do his job for him. I mean, how lazy can you get? He's right behind me, isn't he? Jerry the janitor, hi. I don't believe this. How do I get stuck with this job? It is totally necessary. I guess this is a lot of work for just one person. These tasks are within my abilities. I mean, you couldn't let just anyone do this kind of work. It's a good thing that I was able to lend a hand today. All things aside, I've had a really great time helping out. Mm -hmm. All right, Myrtle, I'm just going to hook up the subwoofers and we can test it. Oh, hi, Gabe. How's it going? Really well, actually. So Jerry isn't having you clean the entire church? Oh, he is. He's showing me everything there is to know about taking care of our church. And you know what? It's making me feel closer to God. Really? Yeah, it's how Jerry serves God. Today, I got to help him and help our church. Everyone here appreciates it, even if they don't know it. So you didn't mind the work? I'm as surprised as you. I wasn't expecting this day to turn out so well. Well, you know, this is only the first day of volunteering for Jerry. You've got the whole weekend to clean all of this. Right. Well, looks like I'm going to be feeling really close to God. I don't know about you guys, but I think hearing the Pentecost story is always so exciting. Totally! With the Holy Spirit coming down like a great wind, it must have been so intense. And tongues of flame appeared over each of the disciples' heads. Don't forget, after that, they were able to speak all those different languages. And just think, that same Holy Spirit is in each of us, just like Pastor Donna said today. The Holy Spirit in me? So each of us is supposed to have the Holy Spirit inside, right, Pat? Praise and thanks. 
Well, I clearly don't, because I feel completely normal. I'm obviously missing something. But hope is not lost. Would you like to play dodgeball? Not now, Pat. I have a pressing spiritual problem to rectify. With science! Now, at last, I'll be the same as all the other kids, even if I don't have the Holy Spirit within me. Hi, guys! Hi, Leo. The present Holy Helmet Chinch Me! Malasa Savorbesk Peste Tres Edge de Limb! Che truc interessant! Crec que mon team! You speak Romanian, Mimi? Sure! Okay. Well, check this out. Hey! What's the big idea? Sorry, I'm just filled with the Holy Spirit. Just like all the disciples. I can speak all sorts of languages, there's a great rushing wind about me, and I even have a tongue of flame over my head. Fire! Uncontrolled open flame! Leo, why would you want all that fire and wind stuff? Because. Because I didn't want you all to suspect that I wasn't filled with the Holy Spirit. We're all filled with the Holy Spirit, Leo. Have you noticed that we don't have rushing wind or flames around us, like, ever? I assumed you were just being polite and not doing it in front of me. Trust me, if fire was hovering over my head, I'd mention it. But Mimi can speak all languages. I've seen her. Well, not all languages. I speak French, Farsi, English, and Romanian. Oh, and bird and... What? <laughs> I'm good at languages. Well, then what does the Holy Spirit do for you? Pastor Donna says that it connects all of us to God and helps guide us. So the Holy Spirit doesn't always show up as wind and fire? Nope. Sometimes you just feel a quiet inner peace. And you know the Holy Spirit is with you. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense. Fire! Whew. That was a close one. Thank you, Gabe. I'd like to get started with Bible study, but Gabe isn't here. Yeah, where is Gabe? He wasn't in Sunday school either. Well, I'm sure he had a good reason. Come in, Regular 23. I'm not seeing solar trolls in this sector. Keep looking, Sword of Gabe 17. We have to find those trolls if we want hyper jump blue. Oh, uh, one second. Got a call. Uh-huh. Uh, hi. Hi, Gabe. We were just wondering if you were coming to Bible study today. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm going to have to miss today. I'm trying to find solar trolls on the third moon of Planet Prey. I gotta go. See, Leo? Gabe's on a different planet and there are trolls. I told you he had a good excuse. It sounds like he's playing that new online game, Solar System of the Samurai. Oh. Well, we'll see him when he's done then. I don't think you understand, Mimi. A game like that doesn't end. Gabe, could you hand me that screwdriver? Praise and thanks. <sighs> All right, this has gone on long enough. All right, solar trolls. Where are you? Wait, I think I see one. Oh no, that's not a solar troll. It's an asteroid troll! What? Hiya, Gabe! Mimi, what are you doing here? Looking for you, silly. You haven't been answering our calls or emails, so we decided to find you in the game. We've been to so many planets. All to find you. Look, I'm sorry, but I just don't have time for Bible study today. Uh, Gabe, you haven't been to church in three weeks. Three weeks? I've been logged in for three weeks? So? You want to log out and come to Arts and Crafts and Christ Club? How could I ever go back, Mimi? 
I turned my back on my church and my friends. All for a video game. An incredibly well-designed and immersive video game. Gabe, we don't want to be sad you were gone so long. We want to celebrate you coming back! You're right. Hey, regular 23, I've got to go. I can't be logged on round the clock looking for these trolls anymore. Wait, you were logged on this entire time? Uh, maybe? Wow, sort of Gabe 17. You need some life balance, buddy. Yeah. That's becoming pretty clear. <clears throat> Hello, class, and welcome to Proper Prayer Patterns. I'm so glad you could all attend my lecture. Super glad to be here, Leo. Who wouldn't want to come to a class on prayer on a Saturday? Uh, please, Mimi, hold all questions until the end of the lecture. Okie dokie. Now, here are three common types of prayer. Supplication, where we pray for God to help us. Intercession, where we pray to God for others. And thanksgiving, which should be self-explanatory. I'll take your word for it. Moving on. The most important part of prayer, mechanics. Uh, like I instructed, please hold all questions. Are those supposed to be hands? No, no, they're just a basic drawing to represent hands. Note the palms pressed together, fingers tight, and forearms at a 45-degree angle, which my research has established as the optimal angle for prayer. Um... Uh, feel free to be writing this down, Mimi. But people pray in all kinds of different ways. Yes, but this way is superior. But I thought God could hear and see everything. Mimi, it's all very technical. It involves acoustics and harmonics and... You know what? I think my Theologitomaton Gamma can explain it better. Isn't Theologitomaton the robot that's always trying to conquer the world when you turn it on? Historically, yes. But I fixed the last of those pesky world domination bugs. <laughs> I think it saw us run in here. I think so. Come out and surrender to the new ruler of the world, Leo and other child. It's Mimi, actually. I don't think we've met. This door won't hold for long. What are we going to do? Um, maybe now would be a good time to pray for help. But proper posture would require letting go of the door, and we can't. Okay, we'll just pray. Oh, God, please help Mimi and me find a way out of this. It stopped. Huh. Oh no, it's trying to burrow in from below us. Oh, that's disappointing. For a second I thought it went to sleep. Sleep? Now you're gonna tell me computers don't sleep? No, but they do enter sleep mode. If I can reprogram the remote control for my presentation into a remote sleep mode inducer, Theologitomaton Gamma will power down. That should do it. Now, let's take care of this once and for all. Wait, you don't want to pray with your hands set up just right first? There's no time. We'll just have to have faith that God already hurts. Wow. So, it's more about having faith when we pray than how we pray. I'm learning a lot in your class today, Leo. Ah, <sighs> me too, Mimi. Me too. Thanks, God. Easily the best time at the quarry ever. <laughs> yeah, and the cannonball you did, Eagle Eye, that splash was ginormous. And everyone going out to get pizza afterwards, perfect ending to a perfect day. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that sounds like a great time. When was this? Oh, that's right. You wouldn't know because you weren't there. Oh, I was... At church on a Thursday. Why would you be at church if you didn't have to? The Arts and Crafts and Christ Club was meeting, and... Tell me you weren't hanging out at church for fun. That would be incredibly uncool. Don't you go to church, Eagle Eye? <laughs> yeah, as little as possible. 
Next, you'll be saying you pay attention to every sermon or something. Sure. P pastor Donna says that... Are you seriously going to quote your pastor to me? Uh, well, it sometimes can explain tricky situations where it's unclear. Gabe, we're going to go, but I want you to know you're a church nerd. And it's cool that you own it. Although, to be clear, it's not cool. Not at all. Not cool? Not cool? I'll show him. Back to church! There has to be something in the church archives to prove my time at church is just as cool as- Surprise, Monty! Uh, I found you! Baby! Oh, sorry, Gabe. You're not Monty. Of course I'm not your little brother. I don't look anything like him. Yeah, but we're playing hide and seek and seek and hide. It's like hide and seek, but you both hide and seek at the same time. Also, we're amazing at hiding. Thank you. Mimi, do you ever think it's unusual that we spend so much time at church? Not for a second. But then I'm covered in body paint to hide in a portrait, so I don't know. But you know who would have known? Pastor Aloysius. Who? He's one of the founders of First Second Church. He and a lot of other people worked super hard so we would have a church. He looks a bit like a church nerd. Oh, without a doubt. But the founders of our church were carrying on a tradition from even earlier Christians who weren't always free to worship openly. Because they were afraid it wouldn't look cool? More that they knew they could be arrested or put to death for it. Besides, what does it mean to be cool anyway? Mimi... Cool is, um, well. Pastor Aloysius didn't worry about being cool, and he looks pretty happy in this picture, right? You're right, Mimi. That is one happy-looking church nerd. Exactly. Now, let's go find Monty. I saw a broom earlier that looked very suspicious. <laughs> All right, video chat time. What's that? Oh, I totally didn't realize I had mustard on my face from dinner. What a great feature. Hey, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Hey, Leo. Hey, Ruby. Did anybody invite Bert yet? No, not yet. I'll send him one. I'm so glad we started this internet video club. How awesome is it that we can meet and discuss internet videos over the internet on video? Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. It's all right, Bert. Yeah, but don't make a habit of it. Just because it's on the internet doesn't mean tardiness is acceptable. Let's end that myth right here and now. Why are you just an icon? Is your camera on? I don't have a camera. Why don't you have a camera? Because I don't own a computer. I'm in the computer lab. Let's stay on topic, Bert. And the topic is cool internet videos. Hey, wait a second. Did anybody send Mimi an invite? No, nobody sent Mimi an invite. Why not? Mimi loves internet videos. Mimi loves internet videos too much. She has very poor browsing habits. She clicks on anything. It's true. Her computer is plagued with viruses and malware, which in turn infects everyone else's computers. Well, she just sent me a message asking if we are meeting. Tell her no! Tell her the club is dissolved. I don't want to lie to Mimi. Have you guys ever told her about her malware problem? There's no easy way to tell a person that their computer is a total plague that causes constant computer crashes. So we're just going to ignore our friend? Mimi's great in reality. But in cyberspace, she's a liability. When are we going to start discussing internet videos? Well, did everyone watch the assigned playlist? All of them except Baby Chase's cat. But I feel the title pretty much says it all. Everyone else? Here's the thing, Mimi. We all like you. Everyone likes you. Hey, thanks. But your computer skills are terrible. But I have great computer skills. I never open an unknown email unless the subject line says urgent or important or hey. Everyone is saying your computer is filled with viruses and malware and even the slightest connection to it crashes their systems immediately. I think they're overreacting a little bit. I mean, we're video chatting fine right now. Oh, oh, hold on. You've 
frozen. Oh, no. You've been selected to receive a oh. brand new TV. Oh, Batteries no. included. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Wow, no. No. Oh, I need that. Oh. Hey, Mimi. It's Gabe. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Hey, I'm coming over to take a look at your computer. Great. See you soon. Wow, it's so hot, you could cook an egg on the sidewalk. Um, yuck! Who would eat sidewalk eggs? It's an expression, Ruby. Gah, and according to my weather prediction matrix 5000, it's going to get even hotter. Well, like I always say, if a bad situation comes up, you make the best of it. Really? You always say that? Yes, and the best way to make the best of something is to make money off it. <laughs> With heat like this, people will pay big money for lemonade. So, uh, thirsty, need, cool, citrus-based drink, please. Sure thing, Victor, 50 cents. Sadly, Rhubarb, I only have 25 cents to my name. The rest of my capital is invested in other ventures. Well, then you are 50 cents short. Move along. Uh, I'm only 25 cents short? I raised the price after you called me Rhubarb. Now move along, Victor! Couldn't you have given him a discount? It's 104 degrees. Then everyone would want a discount and we'd be put out of business. Is that what you want? Oh, how refreshing! Thank you so much for the lemonade, Sapphire. I feel infinitely better. Oh, you are beyond welcome, Victor. Are those some of the kids from the church across town? Yes, it looks like Sapphire and Taurus. And they're giving away lemonade for free. But they... But we... Why would they do that? Well, it is very hot outside. According to my weather prediction matrix 5000, we haven't even reached today's high. Then there's only one thing for us to do. You're raising the price? Obviously, Leo. The hotter it is, the more people will need lemonade, and the more they'll pay. Tell them that. And there's lemonade for you, Monty, and for you, Roxy, and for you, Bert, and there's... Oh, gosh! We're out of lemonade! Oh, no! You see? They've given all their lemonade away! Now we swoop in and... It's all right, everyone! We'll just make more! All it takes is ice water, lemons, and sugar! <gasps> and now they're sharing the secret recipe for lemonade? What is wrong with them? Leo, what are you doing? Having a cup of lemonade? Then that will be a dollar fifty. I have to pay for my own lemonade? Everyone pays for the company lemonade, Leo. No exceptions. I'd better raise the price again. I mean, now that... Leo! 